Hello, and welcome back to Mama Flick's pregnancy series. In this video, you will learn about the importance of holistic well being in your pregnancy and life. Do you feel content, energized, connected, balanced? Are you able to put the bad days in perspective and live with a sense of purpose? If you answered yes, then you are experiencing holistic well being a state of general contentment with life and the way things are. In this state, we experience balance in body, mind and spirit and feel connected to purpose, people and community. But many of us aren't quite there. Our lifestyle is causing us pain, whether we are tired or stressed or not happy with the way we see ourselves. We feel disconnected from others or stuck in a routine that holds no meaning. Experiencing chronic stress and untreated mental illnesses can lead to many physical, emotional, cognitive and behavioural problems of the baby. Chronic stress in pregnancy can lead to complications such as premature birth and growth restriction of the developing fetus in the mother's womb. So achieving the optimum holistic well-being can reduce such untoward complications. Pregnancy is a great opportunity to reflect on yourself and consider healthy lifestyle changes which would be beneficial for you for the rest of your life. The six dimensions of holistic well-being include emotional, intellectual, spiritual, occupational, social and physical well-being. Emotional well-being includes understanding your emotions. It is for coping with your emotions, events, and problems that arise in your everyday life. The next dimension is intellectual well-being. This dimension has to do with having an open mind to new ideas, concepts, and ways of thinking. Spiritual well-being is the next dimension and is for seeking meaning and purpose in human existence. It is also acknowledging that struggles in life are normal and life is full of ups and downs. Some examples to achieve spiritual wellness include yoga, prayer or meditation. The fourth dimension is occupational well-being. This is the ability to enjoy your career and feel safe with what you are doing. It is also a way to help and contribute to society. Next is social well-being. This is the ability to perform social roles effectively and comfortably and also interacting with others in a respectable manner. Physical well-being is the last aspect of holistic model. Physical well-being is having a healthy body that is maintained by proper nutrition, habitual physical activity, making responsible decisions and responding appropriately to the physical stresses. A holistic approach to pregnancy and childbirth considers all aspects of an individual. It recognises the impact of the mind, the spirit as well as physical body on the experience of pregnancy and birth. In turn, experiences of pregnancy and birth influence body, mind and spirit. It also recognises that a woman's body is naturally designed to conceive, nourish and give birth to a baby. Holistic well-being begins with the simple question, what can I do to feel content and balanced? Asking this shifts our whole perspective. We are no longer looking to our healthcare providers or government or food companies to tell us what we need to do. We are empowering ourselves to explore what we really need and to evaluate for ourselves what makes sense. We are the masters of our own happiness. A state of holistic well-being comes from within. Your path to well-being will be unique to you, arising from an awareness of where you are at the moment and what you need to change to feel content. As you proceed, listen to your body and mind. Create a positive environment where you can succeed. Include support from others. Be compassionate to yourself and remember that well-being is our natural inclination. To see where you stand, ask yourself how you would describe your diet and nutrition, level of physical activity, amount and quality of sleep, ability to handle stress, mental and emotional health, the quality of your relationships to friends and family, 
and a sense of belonging to a community. The best way to start a holistic self-care path is to create a personal well-being plan. Start by categorizing each of the dimensions of holistic well-being and then choose one activity that will serve you in that area in the most enjoyable and meaningful way to you. For example, your mindset and perspective on life are a crucial part of your well-being. The good news is you can change how you react and take full responsibility for your own happiness. Think of one activity you can incorporate into your life to nurture the emotional aspect of your life like starting a daily journal of emotions that you've experienced throughout the day. Like introducing anything new, give it time. It may be easier to choose one thing to start with and commit to that so the practice doesn't overwhelm your current schedule. You'll soon experience how possible it is to create a balanced state of well-being. When we start to experience the value in caring for all parts of ourselves, we begin to feel more complete, fulfilled, healthier, and happier. And we uncover a radiance that shines from inside out. In the next few minutes, we'll go through a few practices that you can incorporate into your life to boost your holistic well-being, explaining to you how each of them is beneficial to you. A hot bath, listening to music, watching a movie, Keeping social arrangements and hobbies going. Whatever it is, think about the things that help you to keep calm and make sure they are still in your routine. Doing things you enjoy can help you to stay connected with some of the more positive aspects of life. You may not have found the thing that you enjoy yet, so try some different things out. Relaxation lowers cortisol, your stress hormone and boost your overall emotional mental well-being. Some people like to read to learn about the world or escape into other worlds. Others like to express their feelings through art. Whatever your style, make sure you do express yourself. It will help you stay connected to discover more about you, your identity and the person that you want to become. Learning how to express yourself in a healthy way can be a wonderful way to live an authentic, more fulfilling life. Another great way to express yourself is through writing. Maybe you can try writing poetry or short stories based on your authentic feelings and life. Don't focus on how you rank in comparison to others. Life is not a competition. It's a journey. We are all on a journey to find something, to become something, to learn to create. Reminding yourself about the things you can do well can help to balance out critical thoughts about yourself, which tend to increase when we are stressed. The next very important thing is to socialize. Being part of a community provides a source of fun, support and friendship. It's a huge part of life finding those people that you want to spend your time with. Finding a tribe of like-minded friends and practitioners even before you start your family will provide you with a community of support and helpful resources to ease the family transition into parenthood. And finally, the most important thing is trust in the natural process. Embody the knowing that giving birth is one of the most natural things and that you already have the ability to give birth in you. Just as your baby innately knows how to develop within the womb, your body also knows how to give birth with grace and ease. So love yourself, your pregnancy, your body, your baby, and your birthing experience, however it unfolds for you.